the budget. Uh, Joe has a presentation. Uh, the finance committee met several times, and then we uh, had the uh, workshop in the middle of November. Yes. Middle of November, and we came up with uh, some different slides that we wanted to address uh, on uh, decisions, as well as what we did in 2018 and made our decisions for 2019. Uh, so we just have these few slides that we uh, wanted to go over. Uh, as everybody knows, the duties of the borough are the administration, financial services, police, fire department, um, and, and so on. With the all of the different public works and engineering and code enforcement and uh, maintenance by public works and supporting the library, supporting the fire department and the police, and um, the recycling and waste collection. Um, as far as the 2018 accomplishments, uh, we negotiated the police and public works collective bargaining agreements. Uh, we continue to work on the sanit sanitary sewer repairs lining and CP beam. Uh, the lines. Uh, task two and three of the Baldwin Street Corridor project were funded and uh, 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 that report is coming to us in the near future. Uh, the uh, MS4 stormwater compliance is ongoing. Uh, that's a large ordeal and continues to uh, us to keep working on. Uh, we did some pavement uh, maintenance projects. Uh, we did uh, one of the things in 2018 that we had was we wanted to do some restoration on the exterior of this building in addition to the interior. Uh, mo as before I even should have said, most of this work was either done or was in the process of being done um, before the flood. Uh, obviously, uh, as soon as the flood happened, Lori pretty much stopped uh, writing checks and and uh, all of the different things that we were had budgeted that weren't necessary, we uh, postponed. The interior was one of those. Uh, the new police car was purchased. The uh, backflow preventers of the phase one were completed and we did approve the volunteer firefighter tax credit program. So those are some of the accomplishments we had. Um, as well as we have the PennDOT Greenlight uh, Go program that's uh, being implemented, Lori, is that targeted for this year? Um, we actually, um, these are the contracts with the notice to proceed that I signed today. So. So, so we're really close to that, so hopefully that will help some of the um, different things that go on on Route 50. Uh, and then obviously the timeline has been set for the Charter Street and Bridge expansion. Uh, timeline uh, set for 2020. Uh, as far as public safety, the police, uh, Bridgeville Police uh, Chief uh, supplied me some information of 4,100 calls through October, uh, as well as uh, keeping involved in the community, either through social media or a very positive influence with uh, a lot of our uh, citizens of the borough. Uh, the fire department had 125 hours approximately in training for their members I reported, I responded approximately 500 calls. Now, obviously this uh, number was a little bit inflated due to the flood, but um, that's a, 500 calls is uh, an awful lot uh, for, for one year. Uh, as far as uh, the biggest call was the 2018 destructive flooding. Uh, everybody's seen a lot of these different pictures, but uh, the, the biggest, uh, take on this is the flood expenses and the mitigation were three hundred and ninety seven dollar yeah ninety seven dollars three hundred and ninety seven thousand thirty six dollars um, so far as far as the uh, expenses that we had to to use to recover from that June flood um, and to add to that these are some of the large expenses that we had in 2018 these are the main expenses the larger ones uh, which is almost $1.8 million. <clears throat> um, for what are the plans for 2019? When we met for, uh, for the Finance Committee, we, we said, all right, what are some of the things that we can spend money on, but knowing that we need to keep expenses very, very low because our reserves are almost to a minimum. Uh, hazard mitigation design and projects. Uh, Lori and Joe Seitz have been working very digitally. Uh, one of the examples what uh, Pat was talking about, uh, Lori and Joe have been working ever since July on that, that aspect. 
Uh, the stormwater management is going to be an ongoing program for, for many years. Uh, the McLaughlin Run Park restroom upgrades, as well as those ever popular, much needed Chartier's Park restroom upgrades. Um, and um, notes on the part of Chartier's Park, where you got a nice size grant for a large portion of that. Yes. So, uh, 40000 Yeah, so that was, that's almost a minimal cost to us, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Uh, Washington Avenue and Chartier Street design, those expenses uh, continue and, and are ready for the 2020 construction. Uh, the sanitary sewer lining uh, and repairs are continuing. The phase two of the black foam preventer uh, continues. Obviously, our pavement maintenance program, as mentioned, the adaptive light of project installation and a modest approach to spending to rebuild the reserves is the key um, this year. So that's one thing when Somebody approaches Lori to spend some money, and we have to sit back and say, is this something that, that we really have to have in 2019? Okay, um, so out of that, what are our largest expenses that we're anticipating? Uh, our portion of the adaptive street lighting is the 53 grand, the MS4 stormwater compliance, uh, the McLaughlin grant project, we have that money set aside, correct, Lori? Yes. Um, the, pro the expansion for the, the Chartier Street and the widening, uh, the sewer lining and backflow preventers, and then obviously the pavement maintenance programs. Again, those are just the large expenses in addition to the benefits of the employees and, and, and salaries and all those things. But these ones are 1.4 million. Uh, as far as just a, a history that we have over the last few years, um, I'm not going to dwell on this much that uh, right now our revenues are only 90% of the 2018 budget. Um, in talking at the Finance Committee, uh, a lot of times we receive a little bump in regards to the taxes at the end of the year uh, because some people uh, pay uh, their taxes to, uh, right before, sometime in December, that last quarter of those taxes. Uh, but uh, as you can see in November, uh, we did, uh, or as you can see with our budget, it's 12% uh, higher um, from 17. Well, that's unfortunately we had to raise taxes last year. And boy, I don't know where we would be if we didn't raise taxes last year uh, with this uh, unexpected flood that we have. As far as the expenditures, um, as you can see, we uh, have uh, definitely decreased. As soon as we had those expenditures, we decreased uh, our spendings and we're anticipating being about 7% lower uh, in 2017. And that's even with those mitigation uh, with the flood on there as well. So kudos to Lori and making sure to tighten her belt and uh, the borough's belt, excuse me, not your belt. Um, and uh, making sure we have uh, uh, controlled expenses. Uh, probably the biggest thing um, that you have to watch for to be uh, very successful, and we've we've done that rather well this year. Um, what does this mean to the Bridgeville Borough? Um, it means that we're estimating the 18 uh, revenues to come in at about 3.2, and the expenditures to come in about 3.2, around $33,000. Uh -oh. $33,000 is a deficiency is what is anticipated. Again, due to the decrease of our budget, the borough really, really needs to uh, build back those uh, reserves uh, due to the un unanticipated flooding expenses. Uh, and as of January 19, our, our general fund balance is around $910,000. Now that's to carry us until July when we receive taxes again. So that, that counts for salaries, it counts for all the different expenses, which uh, Lori, in, your, in our meetings, you said this is probably the lowest that it's ever been. It is. It's been the lowest since I've been managing. So, so with that, oh, come on. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
elevator music is I'll sing. No. We got the car to come back. Yeah, it does. Sounds just like my husband Joe should. Increasing taxes this year. Um, none of the mills on the building mills uh, will not increase of the land. Um, so, in an estimated revenue aspect, we're anticipating three point three million one hundred sixty-nine thousand and expenditures of two point eight. Uh, this isn't working. I'm, I apologize. Uh, we're going to be building the reserves to about three hundred thousand back to uh, what we had last year. Um, so we're, all in a nutshell, we're trying to uh, make sure that, that we are prepared for any time in the future that this may happen again, that we'll be able to build our reserves and, and finalize things. Uh, one last thing we've uh, been told by uh, Anne Marie, Well, this isn't good. My apologies. We had this all tested yesterday, and now, of course, it's not working. So, um, but just in a nutshell, we are not raising taxes. We're planning on building our reserves uh, with the hopes to be able to build up and have uh, the opportunity to uh, to get where we were last year to and continue to. Uh, uh, build all the services and help uh, the borough continue on uh, improving, improving bridge. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why it didn't work. <laughs> yeah. But, but we, will, we will put this uh, on a PDF and make it available on the Bridgeville website for anyone that would uh, like to review it. Uh, the presentation will be up there. Um, to be able to, to go through it if you want. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. All right, with that said, uh, motion to borough council regarding resolution number 2018-12, a resolution approving the budget for the fiscal year 2019, and it's the same. The budget workshop public meeting was held on November 20, 2018 with the budget, proposed budget available for public inspection meeting on November 26, 2018 meeting. The ten, meeting the 10-day public inspection requirement per borough code. I'll move. First to Joe. Lucci. Second. Also. And Bruce Gallarucci. All those in favor? Aye. All right. All those opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Yeah. All right. Skip ahead. Media reports. Administration. Bruce. Bruce.